So today we're going to be playing a review game called Brain Snag. And basically the goal is you will have a review sheet and the word bank is the, is on, are all these cards in here. So we'll have a blue team. You'll be trying to get all the blue cards. Purple team will be trying to get the purple cards. Yellow, the yellow cards. Red, the red cards. And basically you will come in one person at a time Try and get a card, take it back to your base, and that will be part of your word bank. We're not going to work on the worksheet right away, though. You will be doing that and trying to get all the colored cards for your team. When I go back or when you go back to your team, you tag the next person, they come in, they take their turn. Here's the tricky part of the game. There's going to be a team in here linked together with a noodle. And if you have a card and they tap you, you need to drop the card right where they tap you. You don't get to take it back home. So that's the tricky part of the game. So when you come in here and you're trying to get your card, you want to be sneaky. No one can move faster than a walk. We're all walking, but you do want to be kind of sneaky and, and move around to try and get your cards and stay away from these two. That's the goal. All right, so everyone take your area. Go to your corner. We have our team in the middle. You guys can head into the middle. Okay, so again, you're getting the blue cards, yellow, purple. You want to get as many as you can for your word bank, and this will help you with your review sheet or your study guide. You may begin. <laughs> okay, nice teamwork. They're quick. Look how quick Christine is. Get him. Get him. Watch him. Watch him. What? She's quick. They are quick. There's no doubt about it. Okay, good. Nice job following directions, Lisa. Got him. Okay, good. Nice. She got it that time. Very good. Marie, you're sneaky over there. I like it. Good. Good job following directions, Diane. No, uh, too quick. Too quick. We got to stay at a walking speed. We have a few minutes remaining in the game. One minute remaining to get as many word bank words as you can. One minute. Okay, time. Head back to your home base and complete your study guide. Head back to your home base and complete your study guide. We are going to participate in a game called Challenge Flash Review. Challenge Flash Review. So basically what we're doing is we will be working with our teams. I will give you a question, a review question. Your team will huddle up. Now the person who's going to write the answer needs to change each round. But you will huddle up. The person who's writing the answer puts it on your board. You will have an exercise to complete. When you're finished the exercise, your, your group will end in the quiet position or the, the focus position, which Anna is into right now. She's demonstrating it. Thank you very much. And I will be then asking you to hold up your answer. If your team has the correct answer, you all get a point. If you have the correct answer and you worked together and had the fastest speed, you will get two points. Okay? So I will ask a question, and our exercise will be 10 jumping jacks and you need to do them as a team. All right, are we ready? Question number one, what percentage of students are predominantly kinesthetic learners? OK, 
Okay, show your answer. Okay, looking around, 85%. A point for all teams. This team, two points for speed. Okay, awesome. Next question, next exercise. The exercise is going to be 20 squat punches with your team. Okay, and you got it. I want to see teams that stay together. Sometimes it's not always the fastest. I look for teams that are staying together and working as a team as well. All right. The question, three benefits of using movement in the classroom. Okay, show your answer. I was listening. Okay, fun, stress, blood flow. So they have fun, decreasing stress, increasing blood flow, fun, increasing blood flow, health and wellness, improving health and wellness, love it, engagement, motivation, and fun. Point for all teams. Question number three. Well, let me give you the exercise first. The exercise this time is going to be, we'll make it a little bit harder this time, get the, the oxygen and the blood flow up. We're going to do five jump squats. Remember, though, if you have to modify and go down a little bit less or not as deep and come up on your toes instead of jumping, modify as needed. Okay? Here's the question. When students sit, for an extended period of time, their brain releases melatonin. What does melatonin do? Looking for, team, looking for teams to stay together. Okay, show your answer. Okay, very good. Sleepiness, it causes sleepiness. Is that a good learning state for students to be in, to be sleepy while we're trying to peak their performance and, and increase their academic achievement? It's not. So sitting is definitely not ideal for, for brain performance. So a point for everyone for correct answers. Two points for speed. You were the fastest this time. That was awesome. But the unison point, this team right here, they were together the entire time. All right, let's fist bump our team, tell them they did a great job, and head back to our, our home base. We just completed our body webs. And just to kind of review a little bit, the, the goal of a body web is to get information. We used a story, but it could be math, it could be science, it really could be any subject area. But in our scenario, we read a, a story, and we summarized the story working in teams and created a body web. So this web explains the story that this team read. This team read a different story, that team had a different story, etc. And what we're going to, but you could also have your class do the exact same story. That would work as well. What we're going to do now, once the, the webs are created, each team is going to explain their web to the class. If you had your students doing the same story, it would be great to compare to see if everyone has the same supporting details. So that would be a very good comparison. So Beth, can you explain your team's body web, please? So our story was about hummingbirds. There's over 320 species of hummingbirds. They come in all different shapes, sizes, and colors. So that's why we alternated the colors within hummingbirds. They're known as the king of all birds, which is why we gave them a crown in purple, which is the color of royalty. So hummingbirds are only found in North America and South America. In North America, they tend to be a little bit smaller, just about four inches in size. And then in South America, they can be as big as a robin, which is pretty big. Then over here on Anna's left arm, we have characteristics of flight. So hummingbirds are the only bird that can fly in one spot, like a helicopter, which is pretty cool. They can fly backwards. However, they cannot glide like other birds. They have to continuously flap their uh, wings, which is why we have an infinity sign, which creates the humming noise for hummingbirds. Then over here we have characteristics of eating. So this is their tongue, and they form it in the shape of a straw, 
to suck nectar out of flowers. For snacks, they eat flies, and they need to eat at least 60 times a day in order to have all the energy to continuously flap their wings. Hummingbirds. Let's give this team a round of applause. Not only did they do an awesome job of organizing it, they had a lot of supporting details and a lot of extra symbolism and a lot of creativity, even with the detail, with the colors and the crown and the infinity sign. Nice job. Good job, this group. We are going to be playing a content tag review game. And in this situation, we're going to use multiplication uh, facts. But you really could have any type of information on these cards. It would work great with vocabulary, anything quick that you really want students to master. In the activity, the students that are on the spots are basically on base. It is a tag game. So if they're on base, you can't, you can't tag them. They're safe. The person who has the ball is the person who is it. So if I'm it, and again, walking only, all our games are walking only, and we need to figure out how to move safely in the space that is provided. So if we had desks, chairs, etc., we would have to maneuver around them safely at a slow speed. If I tag someone, for example, if I tag Marie, she's it. And that's as simple as that. Right now, and there's no tag backs, but right now I'm not on a base. If I want to get on a base, all I need to do is answer the question on the card correctly. If I answer it co correctly, I'm on the base and he's off. If I'm not correct, he says, sorry, try again. And I can either try here or go somewhere else to get on a different base. Base, my choice. All right, are there any questions before we, we begin the game? Let's go. Let's move. Okay. The answers are located on the back of the card, too. Nice shake and bake moving there, Mike. I like it. While playing this game, you are also allowed to add more bases, take bases away, add more people who are it. There's a lot of options to what you can do with this activity in a classroom space. Slow down a little bit, Mike. Mike, slow down a little bit, please. Thank you. Okay, time. Let's replace the card with a new multiplication fact and continue. 12. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to take this base away, Mike. I'm going to remove this base. Continue. I'm going to add another person who's it. Awesome job, fist bump your friend and let's head back home.